Let's set the scene. You've just started working out, and a little ways into it, you start hearing from the vets in the gym that supplements are the only way to get an edge, really make your workouts count. So, you walk into a supplement store for the first time and instantly think, um, I'm not, I'm not ready for this. It's a fair feeling. I mean, look at that wall, yo. And now you have no idea what you should or shouldn't take. Well, I'm here to answer that very simple question. Which workout supplements should you take? So, like I mentioned, you step into a supplement store and instantly feel like you're in a pharmacy surrounded by pills and powders you don't understand. You want something to help your workouts, you just don't know what, and you're scared the salesperson is on a mission to shake you down for every dollar you have, leaving you with no more of an understanding as to what it all does than when you came in, and not a single product you really want or need. So let's start there. What do you need? It depends. In truth and in fact, you don't technically need anything in there. I know, boring, but it's the truth. Supplements really are just that, supplementary, and not necessary. That being said, the chances that your diet is so dialed in that you don't need anything in that store are so low that I'd literally bet my whole bank account on the fact that 9 out of 10 times, the person in the store could make good use of something in that store. That being said, when you consider the typical lifestyle patterns of most people in developed countries and the physiological consequences of exercise for self-improvement, there are some easy suggestions that can form the foundation for what just about every beginner should be looking for in a supplement store. Number one, a good quality multivitamin. This one is so easy that almost all of us have already heard about how we should be taking one from someone, likely our mothers. Thing is, we often get led to something like Centrum or a Flintstones Chewable. If I need to explain why the Flintstones one is trash, there is a much harder conversation we need to have. So let's skip to the Centrum-like vitamin you typically find at a local drugstore. The biggest issue with it comes down to dosage. The vast majority of the multivitamins you'll find at a drugstore are formulated with a and then you didn't die approach. Not optimal health, just keeping a foot out of the grave. Perhaps this is fine for sedentary folks, but for us workout enthusiasts who are out there pushing our limits in our workouts, there is a much higher demand for micronutrients, not only to stay out of the grave, but also to perform optimally and really reach new heights with our strength and fitness. Number two, a green supplement. This one's all down to the simple fact that not only is it really challenging to get enough veggies into your diet, but even if you did, there has been a decent decline in nutrients and veggies over the years. The foods eaten in the 1950s aren't the same as what you'd get today in terms of their nutritional value. Link to that study is in the description. The boost you'll feel in terms of your energy, general health performance will likely speak for itself. Sure, you can get around this by eating enough veggies. <laughs> but, but I mean, come on. <laughs> you ain't gonna do that. Come on, you're not gonna do that. Number three, protein. I did like a whole video on this one already. Actually, I've done I've done like two videos on this already. I'm not doing it again. Check the card in the corner now or in the description below the video and watch that if you really need the reason, but Lord knows I'm not repeating it here. I shouldn't have to keep repeating it. Just go get some quality protein. After this, it all gets really individual. It would depend on various genetic factors, lifestyle factors, health factors, etc. that would direct me to what you would benefit from the most. But this is a good baseline that basically everyone should be taking care of in one way or another. If you're just starting out, do yourself a favor and get on this sooner rather than later. Your future self will thank you 10 times over. Well, that does it for this video. And for all my fellow Canadians out there, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving weekend. Link to the references in my social media accounts will be in the description below the video. So head down there, check them out, follow me for announcements, updates, and dope content. 
the contest from the booty building video is still running it's gonna be going until december 24th or until i get 200 comments on the video uh as of the recording of this video that has not yet happened uh as of the recording of this video the video hasn't even really been released yet so it'd be impossible to get comments on it but I digress. If you don't know anything about that, head over to the video. I'll put the link to that in the description below the video. And you can get in on the fun. And of course, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place. We all shine together. Peace. Sorry. Sorry.